Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. The latest and greatest in the Super Mario Bros. series. Revolutionizing the series as we know it in the best ways possible. So, let's get started by picking a character with a whole huge selection, and all the characters from Toadette, I believe, down to Nabbit are easier characters so you don't have to worry about struggling as much. Or maybe it's from Yoshi down. I think it's from Yoshi down. There's a whole whole bunch of characters, and it's great. It's also great because I believe the developers of the game had their daughters, like the the lead person, I think, had their daughters fighting over who would play as Peach, and so they added Daisy in. So that's just a cool thing that I that I've heard about. So better let's go with Blue Toad because that's just how I am. So. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. It's just a ho short hop away from the Mushroom Kingdom. Upon receiving an invitation from Prince Florian, Toad and the others are traveling here for the first time. Also, look at all of this. It looks great. There's so many details and it's beautiful. I love that we can also see the Mushroom Kingdom stuff in the background there. Hey there. Hello. Where's the party? I don't know. <laughs> Same controls as we would normally expect from a thing. Also, there's the Mario Bros. There's just so many things to interact with in the in the world. Also, these note blocks also make sounds as we walk across them. And in addition to that, also make sounds from the controller. Even without a speaker, it just makes the vibrations for the sounds. With itself, somehow. And it's great. We can run. Jump. All the things. Well, hello, Nebba. I saw you back there. Also, I love how Peach is riding a Yoshi. That's great. It's just so beautiful. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Was that King King Bowser? How could he steal our Wonder Flower? And our Flower Castle too? I can't believe he merged with our beautiful castle like that. It's... it's just so awful. Bowser will make a terrible mess of our whole kingdom if we don't stop him somehow. You'll help us? Thank you. I'd like to be your guide, if you don't mind. Let me just... I believe in you. Thank you, little flower. World 1, Pipe Rock Plateau. 
This again, it just looks so beautiful. There's so much to it. Also, I love the new style for the characters. It's like side on and it still works so well. This is also the first game where Charles Martinet is not the voice actor for Mario. They brought in a new one for that. I don't actually know who it is, but I have, because I'm paid attention to it, but it it just <laughs> um hang on. Considering we didn't notice the change but in the trailers for this game before Charles Martinet announced that he had uh, resigned from the voice of Mario, it's probably a good sign because it means that the voice actor that we heard in the trailers beforehand did a good job, so. Also, the, the studio working on this game also had a lot, of, a lot of creative freedom when making this, and it really shows because they did, there's so much uniqueness to it, and I love it. But let's get started with, Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, One Star Difficulty. Here we go. Also, the music is really good. And something I quite like about the music is it kind of really works with the Mario Bros. feel. It kind of feels like an alternate version of Mario. And but yeah, if we walk past these fl talking flowers, they also talk to us. And the glowing flowers that we'll find around the world also activate different things. So we need to keep an eye on that. We want to collect these purple coins, which are flower coins. They, they, we can get as many as we want as long as we replay levels. But there are also some special ones that we want to get, which are much bigger than the rest. And I'll try and get them all because that's what I'm here for. Let's go down this pipe. We come out the other side. We also made this glowing flower appear, so let's grab that and make it spawn in some stuff. There's so much character in all this stuff. Anyway, here's our first question mark block and our new power up. The elephant fruit. <laughs> we are now elephant and we can destroy a whole bunch of things and we're also big. We are huge now. There's also a, cool, a lot of cool other things we can do. It is a very beautiful day. Let's try and collect some coins. The coins are mostly just for getting extra lives. Also, hello, secret block. There's a whole bunch of hidden blocks for each character that you can only see as the character that they are for, but you can still hit them if you know where they are. Also, just as another thing, since we walked through this water as an elephant, we've now got water in our trunk, and if we press Y, we can throw it out and we can sprinkle water on these glowing flowers that we need a bit of water, so. There's so many small things to activate. Also, there are the giant purple coins, which are worth 10. And there are three of them in every level that we're going to get, so... got to try and get all that. It's also nice because if you get, get them at all, you just have them. As long as you don't game over, I'm pretty sure. Eventually, we just get to the end. Also, the water just creates more money. It's probably not the best way to grind, but it's there, so... There's so much to this. <laughs> Checkpoint, very nice. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Also, we have an extra spot for an item on the top left, underneath our lives, which is good. I also believe that lives are shared between players as well, so... But here we go, our first Wonder Flower. These will do something different in every level. And they are wonderful. Whenever we have a Wonder Flower active, that means that we have to get to the end of the Wonder Flower section and we'll get a Wanda Seed from it. Sometimes there'll be timers, which is the only time in the game that there are timers, which is really good. That's just such a huge change in the series to not have a time limit on each level. Also, the pipes are alive. It's a worm pipe. Gonna grab all these. Also, also these small purple coins are pieces of purple coins and are only worth 0.1 of a purple coin, so we're gonna need to get those flower coins. Also, this flower pipe, no, this, what's, this worm pipe just went over here and into the ground and we can actually use it. Which is so cool. I'm gonna grab all these. Activate this as well. Probably should have activated them both at the same time to make it go by faster. But yeah, we can go into the foreground and the background in this, which is so cool. Let's grab all this. I think we're getting close to the Wonder Seed. So let's grab these pub coins and go. There's always at least one uh, Wonder Seed to collect in the level aside from getting to the end of the level. If we get to the end of the level, we also just get a free Wonder Seed. Which is cool. We're going to need those to unlock more levels in the future, so we're going to need to get as many as possible. 
just gonna go back here and get whatever we missed because it looks like there's a few things. Also, I wonder if that pipe here would have been something. I don't know, but I think this one might be something. So let's go in here. Now I guess time limit means we can just explore, which is great. Just gonna try and check up here. I don't think there will be anything, but I'm gonna smash it all anyway. Okay. It's giving me time to just look around, so I might as well. Hey, one up. I'll grab that. Also, I believe... No, that's not a thing. Hang on. I'm thinking about something else. Water these. And go up here. Free flower coin. I'll grab that. You want some water too? Water! There you go. Enjoy it. I wonder if we can just go into any of these pipes. Probably. Since they all lead to here. But anyway, I think we should be getting too close to the end of the level, which is right here. So let's get the top of the flagpole. That is something else that is tracked, so we're going to need to keep an eye on that. Course clear. And we get a little rainbow if we get some water in our trunk still. There's so much. But there we go. Alright, Wonder Seeds are going to be really useful on adventure. Let's go get some more. I love the design of the Wonder Seeds as well. I love how they're dark in the middle and glowing around the edges. That's just a really cool thing. I mean, that's what the Power Moons did as well, so... I shouldn't really be surprised, but also it's... It just looks right. They never miss, basically, with their collectibles. Uh, if we press L on the screen, we can check all the levels we have available to us, and we can quickly skip between them. It also shows us what collectibles we have in that level. Which we've got the top of the flagpole, we got both the wanted seeds, and we got all three purple coins. And now surrounding that, in the background, is a little check mark stamp. And that that indicates that you've got everything in that level, so you need to keep an eye on that as we go through the game. So we can get everything. Next up, Pra Plants on Parade. Well, there's a purple coin. Also, the prior plants can walk. <laughs> they can walk now. Also, f also fire flower. Also, I love the new animations for when we get items. It's really cool. It still stops the game for a moment. To get everything done, but it's still really cool that all this unique stuff is in the game now. In the world. Oh, flower coin. And I believe we can use this red pipe to get into the background. Also, I think actually the, the flower there would actually say if you can get into the background or not. So you can get over there. Yeah, he would have said something different if I had not gone too fast, but that's fine. Let's see what we get back here. Actually, I think we get another power-up. The game gives you a lot of power-ups early on, so... Let's get all this. Also love how the music on the note blocks is in line with whatever's happening on the screen, so... With the music. Also, there's a pipe stuff in the sky, that's great. So you can get over there. Also, I think that there's a hidden block here for Luigi. So let's grab that, get an extra life. Walking plants, huh? Yeah. Almost as weird as talking plants. There's a checkpoint, very nice. Also, I love how we're getting coins out of that, that's really cool. No, I don't think there's anything there. But there is a wonder flower here. And there we go. <laughs> the first musical Wonder Seed. That's just really cool. 
There's also a few other things along the way that I wanted to point out, but it's fine. I'll point them out later, probably. Also, I think there's another hidden thing here for Yoshi, or Red Yoshi specifically, possibly. And I believe over this way should be the end of the level. But there we go. I love the themes of each level as well. It looks so good. Every level is so unique and it's amazing. And all the wonder seeds, no, all the wonder flowers are unique as well, which is really cool. It's so good. Why is this game so good? Also, we get a little postcard at the end of each level to show us our progress and memories of the place that we've been, which is cool. Now, I do want to point out quickly that we don't have a check mark on this level. So let's hop back in. This took me a while to find. Like a while. I went through this level so many times. Let's go through it again. Also, we can jump high off of those blocks, which is cool. Yeah, you can. Just speaking from experience. We can also recollect the 10 flower coins, the big flower coins, just for the points, the coins, so, which is good. I don't know if we get as much though, I think it's a less. So is there anything different over here that we need to worry about? Not really. Uh, also, I think I actually will activate the thing again. I was, I was not talking about over it last time, but I will talk over it this time. I think it's interesting that in this... You don't have to actually worry about any of the enemies. You can just walk to the left, or no, walk to the right, basically. And they won't hit, hurt you at all, so. Except for the one at the end that you have to probably jump over. I just love the trees in the background. I saw that red pipe there. Which I don't think shows up if you, unless you do this like this, but there's also these purple blocks here. Or pink blocks that give you more coins. Flower coins. Just a cool thing that they had in the game. I just think it's really cool that you can get that if you have the uh, Wonder Flower active. But there we go. That's the Wonder Seed. Don't get any more from that. Uh, but now, if we jump up onto these pipes that spawn in only if we get the Wonder Flower, we can get up here and go into this red pipe. And there's that red pipe from earlier that we saw. That's the whole hint system for it, basically. Hey, goodbye. And we're just gonna walk right past the end. I also love that Mario Bros. 1 reference. Really cool. Let's go down this pipe. Any secrets here? Don't think so. But this is the red flag, a secret exit. We get an extra Wonder Seed. They don't show that on the... What you don't, don't have in level, so... You gotta be, pay attention... To the check marks. Also, that's a really cool drop shadow there. But the secret exits will allow us to go to an extra thing. In the overworld. So let's hop into that. Go down the pipe. See where we end up. Whoa, this is interesting. So much smoke. Quite the surprising place to run into someone, huh? Nice to meet ya. This is our first time meeting, right? Or maybe you already know who I am. I heard there was treasure somewhere around this place. The next thing I knew, here I was. I wonder if we're gonna, if we're gonna get a new Captain Toad game soon. Maybe. Do you think anyone lives on those aisles over there? And what's with all the smoke? Also, I found 50 flower coins. They're all yours. Should be helpful out in the world. See you around. I already have 152. But yeah, we can find Captain Toad around the world and get some extra flower coins for him. Very nice. But anyway, let's continue on. To scram, skadellas. They basically just run away from us, because we're so scary. And they also shoot stuff at us when they're far enough away. Got a fair bit of health there, apparently. Also, these yellow blocks we can also destroy as with elephant powers, but we don't currently have that, so I think we're going to have to get this thing to 
do some stuff for us from there. Or possibly there's going to be an elephant power-up in this block here. There we go. Let's grab some water, because there's also a thing back here. Thank you for the coins. Just gonna let him live. Let's go down this pipe, I think. No, it just gives me more water. Okay. That's fine, then. I don't remember a lot of the things in this game already, apparently. Where all the secrets are, so we have to find that. Also, I want that. Give it to me! I also love that sound. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Thank you. Let's go down this pipe. And there's that there, but we can't reach, I don't think, easily. So let's use this thing, projectile, as a platform to bounce off of. Very nice. Don't shit at me. That's rude. Gonna let you live this time. Gonna see them from below. Also, we can crawl into this space here, which is cool. Even if it's too big as elephant power. We can still get in there. <laughs> Kinda did surprise me. Also, I don't know if there's a quick way to get lives in this game, but I don't know if we really need it. Wonder flower. Got 10 seconds. Oh, we got... It's 10 seconds for the star powers that are falling from the sky. Every time we get a new one, it resets. It also, when we're over with star power, pulls stuff into us, which is really cool. Specifically coins, so that's just really cool. Also, this is just amazing that we can have this many star powers. All at once. Like another one. There's the Wonder Seed. Give it to me! Give it to me! It's mine now. Very nice. I think that's everything in here. Yeah. We can also check everything from this pause screen. Which is very nice. Also, this is gonna destroy this thing, so I need to jump quickly. Very nice. Wonderful. Rainbows! Also, love the, the people that we're saving in their houses. How it turns from Bowser's cages, basically, into their flower houses. And they're, they're like flower versions of toads, which is really cool. It just works really well. Oh, isn't this fun? The flower castle is me, and I'm the flower castle. So much wonder power. I can feel myself getting stronger and stronger. And stronger! <coughs> My poor throat. Soon everything will be mine. <coughs> I'm fine. That no good, good Bowser? I won't stand for his antics. We've got to get him somehow. Get to him somehow. Ah, let's use that propeller flower up ahead to catch up. These are basically just ways around the world. Also, Castle Bowser is so cool. It's such a cool design. And would make a really cool Switch design. But for some reason, isn't. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Like, imagine that. Tech, like, that texture of the, the green hexagons on a Switch. But also Castle Bowser. It's just so cool. Oh yeah, my dad's a castle now. Nobody's gonna be able to stop him now that he's all powerful, heh <laughs> heh. This is getting worse and worse. And look at the pr- that- the pr- plant- the plant coiled around that house over there. Hey, I've got it! Let's try using our Wonder Seeds. I bet that will fix this. They're really powerful. So now we need Wonder Seeds to be able to access certain things to progress. I 
and we're gonna need a lot of them. Batch House in Pipe Rock Plateau. Is everything alright in here? I was so scared! I thought I'd wait wilt on the spot, but I'm glad I was here to keep this badge safe. Oh yeah, badges. They have lots of different effects. People who travel through the, the Flower Kingdom like using them. Um, Prince Froyan, if I could be so bold, would you accept this gift from me? I'm sure someone as princely as you will know, what's, how, know how to use it best. Oh, thank you. I've always wanted to wear one of these. I can use the power of this badge to help everyone. That brings a bloom to my heart, Prince Florian. I'm happy you're that you're pleased. Vagels will take some trouble out of your travels. Okay, now we have our first badge, and we've gone to the training ground. We have the parachute cap. While midair, press R or shake the controller to open your hat and float slowly downward. Which, why would you shake the controller probably, but I mean, it'd be cool probably. But also I'm going to use the button power. So, with this we can just glide with a cap. Which gives characters without a cap a cap to glide with, so which is really cool. You'll never know. Also, I missed all those coins because they taken their time. But yeah, we can now catch ourselves a little bit and glide, which is really cool. And we'll, we'll use that a fair bit. Also, we're off the rails now, a little bit. Oh, look at this place. There's so much to see, but... There's another one of those icky plants. We're going to need... More Wonder Seeds. So where do you think we should head first? If you want to take a... Uh, want to have a look at the map, just press L. Okay. So we're gonna need 10 and 14 for some stuff. Just overall. Uh, we can also now turn on the online mode and play with other players if we wanted to. Come talk to me at time when we play online play. Share your adventure with others around the world. When you play online, you can have fun with folks from anywhere. There's lots of little ways for players to help each other out in a tight out of a tight spot. Seems like a great reason to turn on the uh, online mode, hmm? Hint hint. I won't for the moment, but in this you can interact with other people playing their own game. Or play with your friends, so. Whenever you die in multiplayer, you also don't become a bowl anymore. Instead of that, you become a ghost, which then you need to get to somebody quickly to be able to revive. And you can do that with online players, which is cool. But anyway, we'll leave that for the moment. And let's go to another level. I think we'll go to break time. These are little short levels that we can do around the world. Like little challenges, basically. Hurry, hurry. Dash and go. Hold wider dash, dash to get the Wonder Seed. And we have to keep keeping these blocks to make the path visible. Also, the stuff on the ground there, with the arrows on it, those basically just move us along back to the beginning if we fall off, so... And those will become a regular part of levels in the future. But let's go! Simple as that. It will become much harder in the future. Very nice. Bull rush coming through. We could also have used our cap if we ran out of time running across that. We've got these enemies here now. Which will break blocks for us. We need to probably use that to our advantage. So we're gonna try and get it to run this way. Break some stuff open. Take that. Oh, so that thing there behind us is really cool. We can take them out, so that's a thing. But look at this thing behind us. It's like a stone tablet thing. Of a wonder flower. 
Okay, how do we get this one? We've got these trees that if we stand on them, it goes down. If we ground pound on them? Yeah. I think if we have, if we have the right power up, we can just stand on them. Oh boy. Break through that, get the 10 coin. Can I get that as well? Thank you for the coins. Try moving. Oh, no, that goes up. Okay. I was not expecting that. But that's very nice. Wow. wow. Some cloud enemies to avoid. This is just a coin area, I'm pretty sure. And there's also a 10 coin up here, so that's a good thing going up there. Very nice. A few things I missed back here, though. Let me try and get them. They crashed into each other. Oh, I need to go down lower. I don't know if I can actually take these out without a little bit more effort. There we go. Got it. All that just for a fire coin, but still. I wanted it, and I got it. Also, I love the pipe rock mountains in the background here. Also, whenever this thing goes off of a certain path, like this ramp here, it also jump. Gotta keep that in mind for puzzles. And other things, like dodging. Also, we need that one, so we need to get thing over this way. Also, those things are tall, and they also knock each other out. <laughs> Jump, and one of flower. Oh boy. Got 60 seconds, but that's okay, because we've got this bull rush to stand on. And they're gonna take us to victory. Oh my goodness, through the skies. Ow. Probably should keep up with it, and not get left behind. Saw that purple coin back there that we're gonna have to come back for. There goes the end of the level. They destroyed it. Oh my goodness, destruction. So much destruction. And there's the Wonder Seed. Let's grab that. And there's the secret exit. All the way up here. Wee! That's so good. Just the super tall flagpole. I love that. Whenever we get the next Mario Maker, tall flagpoles. <laughs> Means we can still have the. I guess we we could adjust the level and end anyway. So anyway, now we've collected some water seeds. I'm sure we can do something with them. Let's go to where that quote plant is. We will, but we have to go back into this level, which I think I'll just do now. So let's do that quickly. Let me see how quickly I can get through this with just what I have currently. Gliding is gonna definitely help for this. We also get a little bit of a boost when we uh, do bring up our cap. We can get a little bit of extra height if we do it just right. There's the shop, the thing, checkpoint, I know what I'm talking about. Also, hello, I probably should be more careful here. It's fine there. Also, this bubble. We don't need to get it, but if we do get it, all three times, which is difficult, gives us a whole bunch of stuff. Very cool. Now we can see the rest of this level that we skipped. Oh, I made it go the wrong way. You have to make it basically drop into stuff for you like that. There we go. There's a thing here, so we're gonna need this guy. Now back. Gotta be careful because he's gonna jump. <laughs> there we go. And there's the 10 coin. Let's get the real exit. Oh, it's up there. I think I actually need to get something else. I might have messed up, maybe? Or maybe. Hang on. This guy, we get on top of him. Please. Nope, there he goes. Also, it didn't go up the way I wanted him to go. Anywhere. So maybe we can just jump it, if we just go fast enough. Glide. No, that's not gonna be enough. Maybe. Hang on, let me get this one to move. That'll be the way to go. Probably. Oh yeah, like that. Except I did it bad. Because I was supposed to be on top of it at that point. Okay, so get on top of it. Like this. Get to turn around and go. 
And then... Jump! There we go! Wonderful. They're gonna make it tricky to get the top of the flagpole now. Level complete. Very nice. But I think that is probably it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.